I came across a microphone thanks to Dave Dugdale and a video that he did on YouTube a while back. Um, it's called the Instamic. Now, this thing is pretty special. They call it the GoPro of microphones. And for those of you who do videos for fishing or any types of videos, maybe with an action cam, one of the things you'll find out is, first of all, the action cam microphones aren't usually that good. And if the camera's microphone is any good, um, as soon as you put it in a weather protection case or something like that, it just goes all to crap. So one solution you can use is a lavalier mic or some type of portable recorder. But usually when you get into that, you get into... Um, you know, a handheld device with a wire, you have to fish it up through your shirt, you have to clip it on, and then you don't want to get anything wet or messed up or whatever. Well, along comes Instamic. This was a GoFundMe or like an Indiegogo or some kind of weird little uh, project thing that took off a couple of years back, and they finally brought it through to a full product. And what it is basically is they have in one capsule put in the recorder, the microphone, and the battery all in a semi-weather sealed case, which is splash resistant. You might think at first, well, what's the big deal? But let me show it to you. This little tiny microphone captures my voice and everything that I'm doing right now. On each side is a stereo microphone, and I have the basic version with just the mono microphones on the top. And on the front of the device, there's just a couple of buttons to kick it into action. So today when I was doing a fishing video, I had some rainy weather and I wanted to put my GoPro into a protective case, but I knew the audio was going to go to crap. So this thing came in handy and it really saved the day. Basically what you do is you just clip this on somewhere and you keep it close to your mouth or your voice and then you have the other camera going and then you do some type of count off like a one, two, three or clap, clap, clap to give yourself audio indications on how to synchronize the two audio tracks from the video and the audio and once you get them synchronized you can lose the audio from the bad video and keep the audio from the good audio device. Sounds like a lot but it's really not that difficult. Um, I really like this product. I think first of all it's a little expensive. I think it's $149 for the cheap one, maybe $139. I don't know, it's over 100 bucks for either one of them. Um, it took about five weeks to get it. It's a little fiddly with the button sequencing, but once you figure it out, it's not too bad. Basically, it's a one press to turn it on. And once it initiates and turns on, it's a one press to record. And then from there, you hit one press to see the status bar. And then one more press will stop recording. And then a press and hold with a little blink of a light we'll turn it off. And that's basically the buttons. That's about all you can do with the mic at that point. But once I had it set up, it was perfectly fine for me to use that way. So I really love this product. I think you guys would like it. Um, I think it's gonna be something that will come in handy, especially for those people who uh, need to be on the go, maybe in an all weather situation, but want better microphone um, capabilities. And it does come, or you can get, a uh, dead cat and I don't see me using it very often unless it's really really windy I'll put it on otherwise I'm just gonna roll without it because it's too convenient the other thing I would say is it does make your shirt a little saggy it's a little heavy but then again it has a lot going on it's got the battery the recorder and the mic all in one capsule it does use magnets to connect to your shirt and that's pretty strong and it's not going to damage your clothing or anything so you don't have any clips and they do have a couple of clip options with that which I don't like at all I would like to see a better clip method integrated on this thing, but I think for now the magnets work. I'm just a little afraid of losing them if I bump into something and it falls off. But all in all, I have to say the sound quality is decent. It's a little too uh, tinny up in the high range. It's a little too um, uh, harsh in the S's, like seashell, Sally, sister, seashells. Those noises don't sound real pleasant on this mic. Um, but when I'm outside, they seem to be a little less harsh than when I'm inside and you can temper them down a little bit with your uh, audio EQ when you're doing editing and things like that. 